Samusta Po Malagayang Padating Sa Tanza Cavite. Uh, today we're going to go over a portion, a brutal portion of the Word of God. And in this very brutal portion of the Word of God, I, uh, honestly brutal portion of God's Word, I'm going to use my notes to speak more often in Tagalog and less in English, but uh, my my Tagalog, my Taglish is poquito, so please have mercy on me as we get into the Word of God. So, magandang umaga sa lahat sa espanyol ang Nagsa Salita Ang Mundo Nayon Ang Bahagin Ito Ang Salita Ang Dios I sang Malupit At Matigas Na Babala Mula Say Dios. Nabu Nabu Bahai Kayo I Gumawa Ang Sangli Ninyon Maga Decision Nuit Hindi Nino Pipilin People lying ang sana sa really niyong maga abu banga hindi siyo sesagot sa sinuman para mag sa maga pag huhokom na a penny on Ako Sia Sa Magua Tuma Tangi Se Kanya Nang My Katiakin. Now, why it take time now that I've used all of my notes and Tagalog? I'm working on my pronunciation, working on my phonics so that I'm easier to understand. But it's very important that uh, I communicate with you in English the Word of God here. It's a brutal portion of Scripture, but um, it's because our Father in Heaven is brutally honest with us. See, our God... And Jesus Christ, his son, his standard for heaven is so high. It's so brutally high that uh, there is none righteous, no, not one. There is no one that qualifies based on their own personal righteousness. No one that deserves the pleasures of heaven. O C L O. No one deserves. So it's important that if we want to walk with the protection of the shepherd that we need to stay close to this shepherd and we need to hear his voice, the voice of the Lord. We also need to, on a daily basis, we need to seek our Father and to seek more and more that his kingdom come and that his will be done in our lives as it is in heaven. And so we're going to turn to Romanos, Oroma, uh, chapter 1. I'm going to go in at verse 18. Please follow along. I'm going to do this as much as possible in Tagalog. 
and also uh, I will bump back and forth so that my friends in English will be able to understand. I want to say hello to our Kamusta Po, to our friends in Palawan, in uh, El Nido, in Port Barton, San Vicente's up that way, down in uh, uh, Batarasa, in Tarasan, and uh, in Brooks Point, those cities, those communities, uh, up to Puerto Princesa, Port Barton up that way. But I also want to make sure that our friends in the Western Hemisphere, should they catch this, that they will be able to follow along as well. So it's important to teach the Palabra de Dios. It's important to teach the Word of God because we receive grace from God. And anything, everything that the Bible says to us is true. We need to understand the privileges that we have as we walk more and more in the kingdom of God after the, when we make the effort. He, uh, he tells the older son, uh, and he tells us, son, you are with me always. Everything that I have belongs to you. So it's given by birthright when we're born again. But we need to understand the gift that he has given so that we don't, uh, so that we're not guilty of taking the pearls that God has for his children. We want to make uh, certain that we are not like the pigs that trample the pearls that our Father has given to his children. Verse 18, Roma 1, 18. Subpocket, ang put, ang dios, ay nahayag mula sa langit laban Salahat ang kalakuan at kasa may on ang magatayo sa na pamagatan ang kanalang kasa may on ay pinipigil ang katatuhanan. Verse 18, because uh, for the wrath of God, the anger of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who hold the truth of God in unrighteousness. Jesus teaches us that God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might believe but some are condemned already because they have rejected they have rejected the mercy of God and chosen to live in darkness rather than light because their heart is evil so they made a decision there's a difference between those who have been deprived who haven't heard of the good news of Jesus they haven't heard. So how can they believe in something they have not heard? And how can they hear unless someone tells them? That's responsibility of uh, uh, missionaries and men and women of God, wherever you are located, you are the one that God has given responsibility to speak to those with whom you have influence in your community, in your family. And you might say, well, Frank, I'm a mess. Well, the Bible tells us that you are the one, you are the letter from God to those around you, to all that know you your pros and your cons, your mistakes. You are the one that he sends. 
you might say, but <coughs> I am a total mess. But the people around you know you. And when they see that uh, God is using you for good, they'll say, wow, if they're using, if God chooses to use Frank, maybe he wants to use me too. That's the point. He does want to use you. He wants to use you and your influence, your skills, for his glory and honor. You are the one. Uh, so the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness of righteousness of men who know the truth and choose evil instead. Instead. Because uh, uh, in verse uh, 19... He tells us that Sapakat Ang Ma'aring Malaman Tungo Se Dios Hai Hayag Sa Kanila Yamang Ito I Pena Hayag Ang Dios Sakanila. Uh, Say, uh, because that which may be known of God is manifest. It's obvious. Uh, it's obvious in them. For God has showed it to them. Even those who reject the gospel, they can see manifestly. They can see the stars in the sky. Uh, the heavens declare his glory the sunrise the glorious sunrise the sunsets the artistry every day the sunset changes the sunrise is glorious every day it looks different every day it's all inspiring and uh, the the heavens the the co the constellations the majesty of the heavens speak of the glory of God. And it's obvious to all who have eyes to see and ears to hear. You can hear the birds singing in the morning, the, the grasshoppers, the insects in your area that give glory to God, uh, even at night. For the, um, for the invisible things of him, from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood uh, by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse. Uh, you can't see gravity, but you understand the reality of gravity. Uh, you may not understand electrical currents, but the laws of science are uh, are obedient to the maker they are obedient and they agree they cannot you can't it, it, they have to be obedient to the maker and do what they are uh, designed to do um, people in this world have made decisions their uh, decisions that have brutal consequences if they don't change their decisions, uh, their brutal consequences, and because you can only reject the goodness and the mercy of God so long. There are some who have never heard, and uh, that God sends people to them with a message from Him. And then there are those who who are depraved. Those are the ones who have heard from God. They understand his message, but choose to live according to their own agenda, to their own agenda instead. Uh, and so uh, we see that some have, uh, they have turned. See, God created man in, the, in his image. But some people, they have chosen to uh, design the image of God after animals, insects, uh, trees, flowers, 
uh, old men, young men, uh, snakes, fish, birds. And even though they know that they carve those things with their own knife, and uh, and they 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 carve them out, and that they're etched out. People, even though that is their own creation, they choose to bow down and to worship something that they themselves created uh, in their own imaginations and uh, procla uh, proclaiming themselves to be wise, they become fools. And we live in a world around us that uh, too many decisions are made by those who don't believe in God. See, to believe in God, you must believe that He is and that He is a rewarder of those who seek Him. But if you don't seek Him, you're not going to have the knowledge and the wisdom that He gives to His children. Uh, and so these uh, who have rejected God in uh, verse uh, 23 uh he tells us, at epinic ga palit nila ang kala wa hatayan ang dios na hindi na sisira sa maga imahing Kawahig ang tao sa nasasira at naga mega ibon ang mega heyo sa may apat na paa at nang mega guma gapang. Verse 23, these people change the glory of the uncorruptible God into an image like unto corruptible man, and to birds and four-footed beasts and creeping things. They've broken one of the Ten Commandments purposely, and they have designed uh, in their mind to create... Uh, a God that it, to corrupt the image of God and uh, even though they carve him up they they just they uh, they lower their own image of God in their own minds uh, for this reason verse 24 Kayat Dahil Samaga Pag Nasasara ang kinalang magapuso ay hiniyaan sila ang Dios sa karumihan ipang lapastan ganin ang kinalang magakatawa sa kana Kanilang Cyrillic. Uh, Verse 24. Wherefore God gave them up to uncleanness through the lust of their own hearts to dishonor their own bodies between themselves. Their people, when they get far away from God, their imagination, they begin to... Uh, they they give up themselves to unclean thoughts and unclean acts that are not good for the human body and they dishonor their own bodies between themselves because they they think up this uh, wickedness and they act upon their wickedness uh, verse uh, 25 verse 25 Saga Sapagkat Pina Latan Nila Ang Casa 
nu galangan ang katatahanan ang Dios at sila sumamba at nalinko sa nilalang sa halip sa nasa lumalang sa siyang pinapuri magpak kalayan man himen dahil dito hihiniang sila ang Diyos maga maga mahalay na pag nasara Apin a palit on kinilang maga babae on likas na pag pag talik sa delikas. These people who uh, they reject God, they change the truth of God into a lie. They take the truth, our God speaks truth, and they change it into a lie. They worship and serve the creature more than the creator. Some uh, worship their alcohol more than they worship their creator. They worship their women, they have their lust, and they worship them more. For this cause, for this reason, God gave them up into vile affections, things that leave them empty, things that don't really bring real happiness, genuine happiness. Uh, for even their women did change their natural use into that which is against nature. They seek pleasure and they seek that uh, their sexuality in only ways that bring pleasure and they don't produce or they're not designed for making the next generation and uh, also the men leaving the natural use of the woman finding their lust for one another a man with men working that which is unseemly and receiving in, in themselves that recompense that reward of their error which was uh, meat which is justified see if you uh, seek to please only yourself and you don't seek to please God if you're not uh, looking to make the world better for the next generation, those who follow you, then you are going to do which satisfies you, whether it is for your benefit or not. And so you practice bad behavior, you pr uh, practice behavior that glorifies yourself instead of the Lord. Well, you have the constitutional ability to do that you were born into a land of freedom where you have choices God allows you free will but uh, but that free those decisions they do come with consequences you can choose to enjoy it, your own uh, lifestyles and how you ignore God but you cannot choose your own you cannot choose your own consequences you cannot you cannot pick the judgments that come your way these are judgments that you choose you made these decisions and if you make these decisions there are consequences now the Bible says that uh, now you can turn when you are warned when you hear from God it is wise to hear from him to make corrections but if you hear and reject there will be consequences and the and the calamity will be great 
but it will be your decision as you decide you're smarter than God and you want control of your own life. You want things according to your will and not his will. Uh, you want your own kingdom, which is, is not anywhere as great as what God has for those who love him for his children. Uh, so, verse 28. At pabe hasa he hindi nala mina butin kila lalnin ang dios hina ayan sila ang dios sa isang muha lai na pag isip apang gawin ang mga bagay na hindi nara rapat. And even if you choose not to retain God in their knowledge, God will give them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient. They make no, uh, uh, they make no sense uh, medically uh, for your future. There's no benefit to you that you will do things that are not uh, beneficial for your long-term health and being filled with all unrighteousness, uh, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, malignity, even activities that ca cause a cancer in your private life, uh, whisperers, pe uh, people who have to whisper all the time, uh, uh, up to no good all the time, backbiters, haters of God, despiteful, proud, boasters, inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents. Parents, if you're not obedient to the Lord, you cannot expect them to be obedient to you. Without understanding, uh, covenant breakers, without natural affection, implacable, unmerciful, and this may summarize everything, who know the judgment of God, and they that wit, and they which commit such things are worthy of death. In God's opinion, not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do him, that do them. There are consequences. You do have freedom of choice, but you don't have freedom. From the judgment of God, He has He has given you a way of escape through Jesus Christ, His Son. But if you choose, if you choose unrighteousness, if you uh, you will pay the consequences. I would encourage you to build your life upon solid rock, Jesus says that there are two groups of people one who hears the gospel and puts the good news god's plan into their lives are like the wise who build upon sand and then when the storms of life come your life will survive because you've established your life upon the rock but those second group who hear the word of God you know it to be true but you don't put it into practice in your life are like those who build upon sand they try to put down what they believe to be a solid uh, a, a good replacement for a firm foundation but they don't follow 
the uh, they don't follow the instruction given in God's word and they make their own decisions and they choose their own ingredients and decide that they are smarter than God and so you make your own decisions and you don't trust the wisdom that is provided in God's word for his children and so you build on an unstable foundation and the collapse will be great because you weren't build, built on solid substance, the word of God. Let's pray. Your Heavenly Father, we thank you that you love your children enough to to write to us the these things I write unto you so that you so that you sin not. But if you do sin, you have an advocate, you have an attorney, you have a spokesman with the Father, Jesus Christ, the righteous, and he is the propitiation, he is the payment, the guarantor for your sins, and not just yours, but those of the whole world, those who will receive the the benefits of being a child of God who does his best to build on that solid foundation. We thank you, Father, that you always hear us when we pray. We give you praise, honor, and glory in Jesus' name. We pray, amen. As as the Lord allows, as the uh, as the uh, quarantine loosens, we want to be out among the people. We uh, look forward to being with you, teaching you the Word of God, helping you to reproduce, to build, to add new disciples. Uh, we want to help you. You continue to pray for us. And we will pray for you. In the meantime, uh, Esta Luego, Abla Luego, will talk to you labor as the Lord allows. And in the meantime, uh, Dios Livendega, may God bless you and keep you. We. If this has been helpful, acknowledge us with the plus button or the like button. But remember, this is uh, controversial information. And Jesus tells us not to cast our pearls, the pearls intended for the children. Don't throw them before the pigs. The pigs will just attack you. So be choosy as to whom you choose to share these pearls meant for the children of God. Y'all have a great day. Remember, Jesus loves you.